Hey everybody, JokerFit here with another video. This time bringing you guys another video review. This time of the DC Universe Classics All-Stars Hal Jordan Green Lantern. Great, great, great looking figure. I cannot stress how impressed I am. Imp I, I am rhymed accidentally. I cannot stress how impressed I am with this figure. Um, so far this has been my favorite DCUC figure to pose. Just because... Um, the articulation is better than most DCUC figures, and he looks phenomenal, phenomenal. Um, I don't know if it's coming across on my camera, but the green that they that Mattel used to paint this figure is a very nice metallic green, and it looks fantastic in person. And it it's not only on his body too, but it's on his uh, you can see it's on his boots. And it's on his mask, so it looks very, very nice. Great, great looking figure, I must say. I know I'm, I'm repeating myself, but it, it looks phenomenal. Um, I got this guy primarily because um, I wanted a Green Lantern. Uh, so, because I'm building, I'm just, I'm just now getting into the DC Universe Classics line, and I'm trying to build a Justice League team. So I was looking through, trying to find the best Hal Jordan Green Lantern, since Hal Jordan is my favorite Green Lantern. Even though I grew up with John Stewart in the Justice League cartoon, um, Hal's still my favorite. Uh, so I was trying to find a uh, the best version of Hal Jordan as the Green Lantern um, that's been made by in the DC Universe Classics line, and so pretty much. Uh, it's the same figure that's been made several times before, but they've all had, like, different paint schemes. Um, the first one was painted uh, similar to this, a lot similar to this, except for it had a flat kind of olive green look to it. Uh, the second one was in an Abinser 2-pack, and he had uh, the same paint as the first release, the the olive green kind of paint, except for he did not have it on the uh, shoulder areas. It was kind of like a stripe down there, kind of like his fir the first appearance of Green Lantern look. And then uh, comes this guy um, with this very nice metallic looking paint and glossy black uh, too. I forgot to mention that very nice glossy black. And it is just an excellent figure. I, I mean, I can, I'm repeating myself, but it's true. It's a great looking figure. And really fun to get into, like, flight poses and stuff. Um, better than, like, even, like, the Superman figure, um, that I have, the new 52 Superman. This guy's better. This is an older figure, but he's still better at posing than the new one. So that's, it's kind of sad on Mattel's part, but, um, this figure, excellent, excellent figure. So yeah, look at that. It just looks awesome. Um, first off, the head sculpt, I think, is, again, great. Um, zoom in there so you guys can check it out. Let's see if it focuses on him instead of my finger. Yeah, great head sculpt. I think that that, capture, that captures the likeness of how Jordan, uh, to the letter, in my opinion, um, he, um, even though, like, some characters, like, again, I just reviewed the Joker have uh they've changed their appearance pretty much with every new comic book artist that's re that's uh, been on the uh, the comic series how jordan has primarily stayed uh, much the same in his appearance throughout uh his first going back from his first appearance to uh, even like the new 52 his face is very is is very much the same and so it's very important for that character that they captured his likeness and I think they did a great job with this um, for articulation let's go over it he has this he has better neck articulation than most DCUC figures do let me zoom out real quick there we go um, he has this kind of like, I don't even, I dare say double joint on the neck, but he can actually look back a good bit and combine that with the ab crunch. You can get him into some very good flight poses like that. You can see that's how far he can look up. Uh, he can also look down a good bit, so if you want to have him hovering above the crowd, you know, that looks cool too. So, very good uh, neck articulation. I really wish all DC UC figures had that neck articulation. They could definitely use it. And, of course, he can look side to side. That'd be kind of sad if he couldn't. Um, his uh, shoulders, you got this, uh, like, pin and socket kind of thing. Pretty much the same as ball joint. A single jointed elbow and a swivel wrist. Uh, ab crunch, again, I already mentioned that. A swivel at the waist. Oop. It's a little bit stuck on mine, but that's not 
nothing terrible. And the, the standard DCUCT crotch uh, at the bice at the thigh, and he has this uh, joint right there. He has um, the single joint in knees, and he can point at the angle or he can flex, whatever you want to do. So um, for the most part, it is standard DCUC articulation, except for that um, the neck, the joint at the neck that I think is fantastic. Really wish uh, all DCUC figures had that articulation. So great articulation on this guy. Or uh, Green Lantern, he he's very kind of simple, simply designed character, I must say. Um, you know, he just has this. He has this body suit. He doesn't really have any extraneous um, attachments or something. He's not like, um, let's for instance, let's say Batman, who has like you know the gauntlet and he's got his utility belt and the cape and the mask and everything, uh, a lot of stuff that protrudes from him, so there's the height comparison between those two, you know, basically the same height. Um, a very simply designed, you know, he's just got the body suit with the, uh, the, all the different, um, I guess you can say patterns on it. Um, so that, al- that allows for, uh, more freedom of articulation, and I'm perfectly fine with that, to be honest. I've always loved how Green Lantern looks, something about him just looks very striking, um, Another thing about the paint is, besides it being like excellent, just like looking at it, it's very appealing. But it's also extremely clean. The lines I can I've so far been unable to find any paint flaws in mine. Especially, let me look here, zoom in. You can see the Green Lantern symbol on his chest um, is completely, honestly, just perfect in my opinion. Uh, nope. No paint errors whatsoever, no bleeding, no spillage, nothing. Um, it just looks fantastic. I don't know if they stamped it on there or what, but it looks great. Uh, so very pleased with that. Again, um, here the glove line. Uh, pretty much perfect from what I can tell. A little bit of inconsistencies, but it's nothing, like nothing noticeable at least. You're not going to like notice it. Like from this distance, you won't, you won't see any paint flaws. Um... Yeah, again here at the uh, the boot, you know, or at least where the boot would be. This is all just one plain body. There isn't, it doesn't protrude or anything, but that's where the bolt, the boot would be. You can see um, very clean lines. So overall, very excellent, excellent figure. Um, just the paint job on this guy is great. Again, the look at that head sculpt, great head sculpt. You can see the the mask is sculpted on. That's not just like painted on either. So that is sculpted on. Very cool. And uh, you can see, um, I think I already mentioned this, but they got some uh, dry brushing going on in the hair. They like use, I can't tell if they maybe used a brown base coat when did some black dry brushing in there, but it looks really nice. So yeah, let's zoom out again. Um, yeah. Great figure. The only downside, though, um, oh well, let me first mention this. And you see there, um, he does have his ring on. It is sculpted on, not just a paint blotch on his hand, so that's nice. The only thing, though, is that I, I did. This is the All Stars line release, and mine. Um, I don't think. Uh, I don't know if mine is an error or not, but he does not come with any accessories, including uh, his um, power battery. No accessories at all. So that's a bit of a disappointment. I don't know if mine is just like a screw up and it doesn't have it. So um, if any of you guys have the All Stars, uh, Hal Jordan, uh, Green Lantern, this one, um, please tell me if yours has a power battery or not because mine does not, and that kind of makes me sad. So I really wish he had a power battery included. Um, if that is true and he just doesn't have it, they just didn't include it because I know past releases of Hal have had a power battery and additional accessories like different. Um, like, uh, I don't know what, I forget what they call them, like, manifestations that he makes with his ring. Like, like you know, maybe like a giant hammer, and it's like, it, it, you kind of just fit it on the hand, and it looks pretty darn awesome. So that's a shame that they didn't include any of those, but I'm just going to have mine, you know, st- my figure standing around looking cool in a Justice League display anyway. So, um, but still, you know, it would have been nice to have those accessories. So, excellent looking figure. Um, I bought mine for, like, uh, $17 off Amazon.com, uh, free shipping, and that is a great deal for this guy, I must admit. Um, I don't know where he is, I haven't checked eBay, see what he is on there, but I would definitely pay, I'd probably pay 
potentially up to thirty dollars for this figure. It's just it looks phenomenal. Um, the paint on this guy is just so nice that it warrants a buy. Even if even if you could care less about Green Lantern, um, it's still a great looking figure that I think is worthy of uh, just looking into it again. Great paint. Um, the nice uh, even even the white on the gloves looks like a bit like it has a little bit of metallic in it. Just phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal figure. Um, definitely highly recommend it, especially if you don't have a Hal Jordan Green Lantern figure. I might look into picking up the other lanterns. Uh, I'm not sure. At this point, I'm just focusing on buying uh, all the members of the Justice League and getting them all uh, together. Um, yeah, so great figure, highly recommend it. And uh, before I go, just want to remind you guys that uh, you should definitely check out my 300 subscriber contest. I'm giving away a Star Wars Sideshow Collectibles Han Solo figure. So uh, definitely check that out if you're interested in it. And uh, that will run until this next Saturday, March 2nd. I believe that's the date. So thank you guys for watching. As always, this is Stroke Fett signing out. Bye.